Good day guys and girls. Are you frustrated or just pissed off that the developers keep fooling around with the playlist update and keep removing plunder? Would you believe me if I told you that when they remove plunder that upwards of 7 million players stop playing Warzone? Well stick around and we're going to show you just how stupid these developers are. So stay tuned. Alright guys and girls, so it is May 25th, 2024, and if you're like me, you really enjoy playing Warzone, maybe you're not super sweaty, you don't want to get into BR all the time, or Resurgence, uh, just doesn't suit your play style, you like to play Plunder, you like to load up weapons, you like to gain XP, you like to finish challenges, you know, you don't like to not sweat so much, but you love Plunder, and they keep taking it away. Well, this is the place for you. So we're just going to go through a couple of things. The first thing is, is that it is uh, Memorial Day weekend for our American friends south of the border. They took away plunder last week, which was in Canada, the long weekend for May 2-4. So there was three days that... Canadians could have been playing plunder and now there's three days that Americans could have been playing plunder and they just can't But let's hop into Warzone and see what kind of modes they do have this week So we got World Series of Something tree. Uh, what the hell is this? Who gives a shit? Resurgence quads lockdown quads ranked play and then the boot camp, which is just a training simulator. But they got ranked play. They've got battle royale quads, trios, duos, and solos. And they've got resurgence quads, trios, duos, and solos. And you got to remember, too, there's always B, uh, DMZ that's sticking in the background there, too. So you're telling me, developers, that of all this server space that you've got, that you can't put in plunder. And I already know the answer to that, you can. It's just, you're not going to. And I don't know why, you know. Um, it's true though, there is probably anywhere from 10 to 20 million players that play plunder, which again should show you that plunder should never disappear. So last week they had some mode called Get High. So you have these modes in that statistically do not get supported, just like Lockdown. Lockdown and Resurgence do not get the numbers that they are hoping for. Your core modes are BR and Plunder, period. Check it up. The statistics are out there. But yet they keep throwing these stupid modes in there that are not being supported. All right, well, welcome back, boys and girls. So before we get too far into it, I just want to say uh, two things. One, as you can see, I'm recording on a computer, and it's for a reason. The first reason is that I'm pretty cheap, period. But second of all is that this is a Microsoft Windows operating system, and Microsoft owns Call of Duty. So it's kind of a twofold. So there you go. So as you can see here, we are looking at the Warzone Plunder Hub. And there are plenty of groups out there like this, but this is one of the more popular ones. It's kind of well-balanced. It talks about updates and talks about playlists and gives some loadouts. And it's also there for help, like how to play Plunder, how to win games, etc., etc. Because remember, those who can't BR, those who do play Plunder. And not only that, but they win at Plunder. So we like to keep track of everything. You can see that there's even playlists in there. So we're going to go back to the beginning of January. And one more thing before I get too far, because I can hear the cries already. Oh, well, there's more people supporting BR than there is Plunder. Here is the top Call of Duty Warzone Battle Royale group. Okay, don't get this confused with the straight Warzone or even Zombies groups. This is specifically for Battle Royale, and this is the top one. What are you looking at? 1.1 thousand subscribers compared to 3,000 so nearly three times as many on the plunder hub only 1.1 thousand boom 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 
Wah, wah. So we'll go back as far as December 14th because plunder had been uh, steady, actually had never been removed since probably about the end of October. I think it was around just after Halloween because we didn't actually have plunder there to do all the Halloween stuff, which was a bit of a pain. They were trying to get us to play other modes that no one was supporting. So as you can see back December 14th, plunder, Urgastan, quads. So we're back towards the beginning of January and there's no date right here, but as you can see, it was posted on January 11th. Go through the list, there is no plunder. They've taken plunder away for a week. And then on the week of January 18th, plunder is back. Then they removed plunder again for the last week of January and February 1st, there it is, they brought plunder back. So what that did through the month of January, so you can see, like I said, right in November, they added plunder back permanently. They gained 12 million, then they gained another 7 million. But then in January, they started messing around with the playlists and removing plunder. And now they're only gaining 5 million. So they're gaining less than, they're gaining about a third of what they did in November because they keep messing around with plunder. Now, I want to say too, for those that don't know, this is activeplayer.io. This information is derived from public information and information that they data mine. So the information here is 100% factual. It's not made up. However, it's not 100% accurate because it's not coming right from the developers. Now I have a feeling that the developers don't even know what's going on because how would you keep removing plunder when it is supporting your game? But anyways, I, I digress from that. The information is probably 99.999% factual, but if it came from the developers and it was the same exact information, it'd be 100% true. So in February, things have been going pretty good. The first week and second week, we actually had plunder in here. And then for the third week of February, February 15th to 21st, they've removed plunder. Then on the last week of February, the 29th to March 7th, Again, still no plunder. So two weeks it was gone. But they got locked down, which statistically is not supported. Resurgence, it is supported a bit. Mini Royale, statistically not supported. And they still have, you know, room for quads, trios, solos, and all that in Resurgence and BR. But they can't squeeze in one mode of plunder, really. So that's two weeks that... Plunder was gone in February. So as you can see, now we're getting into some interesting statistics. So in February, you had a loss of 5.7 million players because you decided to fool around with the playlist and remove Plunder. This is no coincidence. Every time that there's been a loss, it is directly related to Plunder not being in active play mode. It's no coincidence, boys and girls. So, as we know, Plunder was removed for the first week of March. Then the second week of March, Plunder comes back, and it comes back for three weeks, which was enough to get some players to come back. But then, unfortunately, they remove it again for the last week of March. So, two weeks gone in February, two weeks gone in March. As we get back into the data here, they lost 4.6 million players that month. But as you can see, the month before, they had lost 5.6. So by having Plunder back for those three weeks, they actually managed to claw back about a million players. So Plunder was removed the last week of March into April, and now the first week of April, they have brought Plunder back. The second week of April, again, Plunder's back. Everything's starting to feel pretty good. Third week of April, we start thinking, and the chats are going, that maybe the developers realize that they screwed up a lot by removing Plunder, and it's back for a third week. So again, everything's looking good. And even the last week of April, guess what? Plunder's there. And this is amazing. This is the first time since 2023 that Plunder has actually been there for almost an entire month. We missed the first three days of April, but in our community, we'll call that a win. And here we are now, beginning of May, and again, Plunder is still here, and we are just shocked. Look at the memes that are going on, the conversation here is just insane. And that brings us to what was the May 2-4 weekend for Canadians. So for those that don't know, there is a holiday, a three-day weekend, and would have been the perfect time to play Plunder grind that event that was going on that week because some of the stuff you could not finish in 
Uh, zombies, you had to revive a teammate four times in Zombies. Well, if you play solo, you're never going to do that. So would have been a perfect time to do this, but they've removed Plunder. And then for this current week, so May 23rd to 29th, which is actually Memorial Day weekend for us friends, our friends to the south, you know, they're getting a three-day weekend now. Guess what? You can't play Plunder. Although it's the last chance for Resurgence quads on a Sheikah, oh boy. <laughs> for those that don't know, it is critically not supported by players. Rank play is supported. Lockdown is very, very seldom supported. BR obviously is BR. And Resurgence is actually uh, getting a little bit of uh, support, but not much. But what is most frustrating is you got BR, solos, duos, trios, and quads. Then you got Resurgence, solos, duos, trios, and quads. And they can't fit in one mode onto their server for plunder really really so that brings us to the last 30 days seeing as how today is may 26th so you had for the entire month of april you had plunder in there right and the beginning of may you had plunder in there and you've now only lost 356,000 people so you've lost an absolute fraction of what you did these other months, five, five million, four million, you know. So you've managed to stop the bleeding by having plunder in there for a full month. And then you decide that you're going to take it away over a Canadian long weekend and an American long weekend. So just to put that in perspective for 2023 alone, you've lost 17.3 million players. And that's derived from the fact that at the beginning of January, you had 76 million players. And now today you have 59 million players. This is no coincidence that every time Plunder gets removed, you start losing players at just an alarming rate. In fact, you've lost 23% of your players just this year alone. And we're just into May. 23% of players. So you've alienated your player group and your support, your community. And not only that, then you've alienated the creator community that supports Call of Duty Warzone for free and brings you players for free. So basically what the developers and Microsoft have done is said, oh, Plunder players, which makes up probably about 40% of the current players, you can have one of these. Oh, wait, 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 sorry, have another. So for those of you that are familiar with Warzone, you'll know the name J-God. So J-God is probably the top uh, streamer for Warzone content and especially for loadouts and setups. And what does he do? He tests in Plunder. And because now Plunder has been removed for a week actually it's just over a week now it's a week and two days you can see that he hasn't posted any content he posted one day ago four days ago then nine days ago so even j god uses plunder to do all of his testing so does true game data true game data gets all of his data mined from plunder and depends on plunder to do that so does sim.gg so does Who is Immortal. Sally is a dog does a bit in it. So does Iceman Isaac. So by removing Plunder, you're not only alienating 20 million players, but you're also alienating the uh, content creators that actually support your content and support your game for free. Does that make any sense to anybody else out there? I don't know. And you also have seen that the batteries are low and your controller message popped up. I am making this video on my Xbox and I'm making it for two reasons. One, console players are never supported by the developer, ever. Console players are the last people to be thought of and especially Xbox players. PlayStation somehow gets all the perks, all the early beta stuff, whatever. But the second most important point is that Microsoft owns Activision and therefore owns Warzone and they're not supporting their own content. So I digress. But 
here's J God, and he's talking about last week. The weekly challenge was for the Jack Patriot, which is a full auto attachment for the M16. And where's he going to go doing all his testing and data mining for this? I wonder. This week we got the Jack Patriot, which is a full auto M16 conversion kit. I ended up doing some of the challenges in zombies and a couple in the multiplayer. I think some of them are bugged. We couldn't get the BP-51 to work, so we kind of had to work around what, what did work. Uh, and then we were able to actually test this out on stream. Uh, you can see right here when people are jumping in, we were able to test this in Plunder, check the various damage profiles, and get kind of what the headshot is at the various different ranges so we can kind of figure out what the TTK is. So you see... So you can see there that even J-God depends, and I mean absolutely depends, on Plunder in order to make his content. His content is a free publicity, a free ad for Warzone. Warzone and Microsoft and Activision doesn't pay J-God for this. This is just free advertising here. So now they're basically going, hey J-God, we're not gonna support you for at least two weeks. Go pound salt somewhere else. Does that make any sense? I don't think so. So I hope you guys and girls found this content helpful. Uh, sometimes it's better to get statistics and data out there as opposed to just saying, well, a lot of people play plunder and they're pissed off. So this way we're actually showing how many players have left over the past month, two months, three months, and putting some weight behind it. Plus the fact that Content creators depend on Plunder to data mine new data for new weapons, new attachments, different uh, different attachments, all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of people that depend on Plunder. And at the end of the day, you got to remember, BR and Plunder built Warzone. So when Warzone 1 came out, there was two modes. BR and Plunder. Then you had some rotationals that came in there, but Plunder was never removed. So when I say that Plunder built BR or built Warzone, you can take that to the bank. BR did build Warzone, but so did Plunder. Full stop. So if you like the content, please hit that like and subscribe. I'm posting content like this all the time. I feel it's important to keep the developers on point, keep them accountable, and make sure that this information is getting back to the people who need to see it. Because they're obviously not paying attention, or they don't care about the community. There's only a couple options there. So, hit me up, Subliminal64. We'll see you in-game. As for me, though, it's getting really, really, really tempting to uninstall everything. It is just getting to be a real pain to support this game that I love so much when the developers don't love us in return. So we'll see. I'm very tempted. Maybe.